Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, 3D Math Series, Episode 37. Today we're going to be looking at Converting Part 2. We're going to be looking at matrices to Euler angles. Excuse me. So, first we need to know if we're going object to inertial or inertial to object, just like we did last time. We're going to be returning canonical Euler angles, which have a range of plus or minus 180 degrees and pitch of plus or minus 90. And if you recall, Euler angles can have an infinite number uh, Okay, ones due to aliasing. Um, if a matrix is malformed, we may need to be okay with precision errors, and we will need to be uh, dealing with matrices that work on proper rotation matrices. So, before, uh, if you recall this formula from a previous episode, you could see what from a matrix inertial to object space is uh, HPB heading pitch bank. What we're going to do is we're going to solve for this, uh, solve for P, H, and B. We can solve for P first because it's the easiest. So you can see it's uh, M23 is going to be negative sine pi. And you can see A sine of negative M23 is equal to P. Um, if we're going to assume that cosine of P is not 0, then we can solve for sine of H and cosine of H. As you can see here from M13 and M33, uh, M33 over cosine P and M13 over cosine P is equal to sine and H and cosine H. Here we can use a tan 2, which is the arctangent uh, of sine h and cosine h, reassign those here. And as we know that cosine p is greater than 0, and the arctangent 2 y of x takes the arctangent quotient y x, and the signs of the arguments, uh, then we have the division, the cosine p doesn't matter since it's greater than 0. So we know that we can just go ahead and remove those cosine p's, and then we're left with h is equal to arctangent 2, uh, m13, m33. Finally, we can solve for b, and we can do the exact same thing as we get down here. We use the uh, a tan 2 again, reassign, remove the divisions, and now we have b. So that works for everything where cosine of p is greater than 0. Uh, but what if uh, it is zero? We can't use the same trick because in that situation we're in a gimbal lock. Um, what we're going to need to do is basically do the same thing that we did before when we're solving the aliasing issues. So we're going to go ahead and assign bank to zero and then uh, figure out, be able to figure out the rest. So we already know cosine p is zero. We're going to set bank to zero, so sine of b is zero, cosine of b is one. And then again, we're going to go ahead and reassign these values into the original uh, matrix here for H and B. And as we go ahead and fill that all out, we can go ahead and solve for H once again, just like we did before, uh, using M11 and M31 here, and then we will be done. So that's it for this episode. If you want to... Uh, Go ahead and share this on social media. That would be great. If you like this video, uh, that would be awesome. Um, thanks for your time, and we'll see you next time. Bye.